Okay, welcome back to this seventh video demonstration on Perl with me, Joachim Sjöverstad from the University of Skövde. And now we're actually moving to uh, towards the end of this uh, little party with uh, with Perl. And what we're gonna do now for the next uh, two video demonstrations is working with regular expressions. Um, and then we're going to end this uh, demo demo tour with a with a sample script where we're going to do a script where we add users and I'm going to tell you uh, my considerations and how I think when I design it and we're going to uh, dump in some neat tricks. Uh, but beginning now with regular expressions, uh, I just want to begin with showing you a very nice uh, website that is called Rubelar that you can use to uh, build regular expression. Uh, so if we Google Rubelar and hope that we have internet connection. Maybe we should do it another way. So. Like so. Did we get that? Yes. So this is Rubelar, which is uh, a regular expressions editor designed for uh, designed for Ruby, which is another programming script programming language. But it works nice for for Perl as well. So beginning w with understanding what a regular expression is, it's basically about pattern matching. So what you want to find is patterns in a, an amount of text. So basically let's say that we have a, a, a text here. Uh, hi, my name is Joachim and it's a misspelled a little bit but it doesn't matter. Um, so this is a text that we have, maybe it's uh, it's contained in a variable, maybe it's a part of an array, uh, I don't know. And then we can type a regular expression to match, uh, to either see if this, uh, if if something is part of this text or, or to do things to it. So a very simple way to do a regular expression is to basically type in a word. I want to see if there is a word in my text test string. In this case I'm looking for my and you can see here in the, uh, in the results pane that it matches with my. Um, so there is basically three things that we need to know about. First we have a regular expression and the regular expression is basically a pattern that we're searching for. Uh, and then we have our test string uh, which is where we're looking for the pattern and then we'll have the results. So those are the aspects that we need to know about. So there is, of course, different ways to do this matching. Uh, I can match by text, as I just did. I can also decide that I want to match for uh, an occurrence of a, a letter, for instance. And there are two different ways to do this. As you can see in the quick reference down here, uh, I can, for instance, do a backslash W, and that means that I'm looking for a word. Uh, or a uh, a letter, any word character. It would be a letter, number, underscore, whatever. So if I add a couple of letters here, you will see that they are also matches. Uh, I can look for. I can also look for letters by putting, uh, for instance, a to z within brackets. I w then you see that I match letters. Actually, one thing that I can do is that when I'm looking for a single character, I can put brackets like this. So, and whatever I put inside the brackets is sort of what I'm looking for. So if I'm just going with A, I'm looking for A's. If I go A to Z, I'm looking for A to Z. Uh, I can also add 0 to 9. So now I'm looking for letters A to Z and I'm looking for letters 0 to 9. However, I'm not looking for capital letters as you see now. So if I want to look for capital letters as well, I have to add capital A to capital C. At capital Z, and then I'm looking for capital letters as well. Uh, I can also negate this, so if I go back to yes, looking for letters, and put a little roof or whatever you want to call it in front of the expression here, then I'm looking for everything that is not a letter A to Z. Uh, I can also, of course, decide to just look for letters A to C, like so, uh, or not A to C, or A to C. Um, so this is the basics, and there are all sorts of things that you can do. You can look for white space, digits, word, boundaries, uh, and so on and so forth. You'll have to go through the uh, reference on your own. There is also one, uh, a special one, which is the dot, which would be any character, uh, and so on. So that's one part of it. And the next, next thing I want to show you is 
how you would uh, the what would you call it the operators. So you can say, uh, for instance, now we're looking for letters and what we did was backslash w uh, to look for any uh, any word characters and you can see that first a, h is a match, i is a match, m is a match, y is a match, n is a match and so on and so forth. But we wouldn't want to build this with going a backslash w, backslash w uh, and so on and so forth. Instead we want to make something simpler. So there are operators that we can use. So for instance, if I want to look for just zero or one of occurrence of W, then I can add a question mark, and that's what it will do. Uh, you see now in this case there are no difference in the matching because it still matches on H and matches on I and so on and so forth. Uh, I can also do star, and then you will see that the matching is a little bit different because now high is one match, my is one match and so on. And that is because star says zero or more occurrences of what I'm looking for. Uh, and then we have plus which is a little bit different because it says one or more. Um, so if I have star it will actually be a match even if there is no, no uh, even if there is no, um, even if there is no match uh, or no letter to match. So if we start going on and looking at this a little bit programmatically I want to show you a little bit about how it can be used uh, and a very common way to use it is oh wrong virtual machine a very common way to use it is to use it in uh, in loops or in conditions and what you want to achieve then is basically that you use a regular expression to see if something is contained in text. So if we go to a little sample script that I wrote here, I have a script that says input your name, then it saves the name that you input to a variable, chomp it to remove the endline character, and then I have a while loop here. And the while function of this while loop is basically to test. We want to see that whenever you enter a name, it should only uh, contain lowercase letters. So what we do is that we have a while loop, and then as the condition we have while, and then a regular expression, which is instantiated with a equal sign and then a tilde sign, and then a slash, and then the expression that we want to look for, and then an ending slash. And then within the regular expression here, I say that name reg equals to not a to z. So this will be true as long as I do something that doesn't contain lowercase a to z. Right? and then we go go ahead and then we print the name. And the idea is here that we basically capture the user of the script within this loop until he enters the correct username. So let's try it. regex.pl uh, input your name and I input something totally wrong and then I do something right and it enters. So what it says is that as long as there is something else than lowercase letters, this statement will be true, and the loop will go, and the loop will go on. So taking it from the beginning, we're inputting a name, then we're saving the name, and then we have a check here. So in case the name contains anything that is not a lowercase letter, then we enter this loop, say incorrect name, re-enter, and then we save the name again and then we test the condition once again and we do this until we have a name that only contains lowercase letters and then finally we print the name. Uh, we can of course do that it should uh, for instance not contain numbers and then we would just change the regular expression to 0 to 9. Now we have something that says name contains 0 to 9 and then this is true so we'll loop this little error checking here and we can try it. So if I input something Joachim1, incorrect name, something just strange, incorrect name, but if I go Joachim with capital J, then it prints it and, and it's happy. So that is very briefly on regular expressions. Uh, there is one thing I want to show you more if I go back to Rubelar. So we're going to build ourselves a little bit of a more complicated text string here. So we go this is text, text again, 
and then we do a IP address and then we do text even more. So what we're going to begin with here is to search basically we do a regular expression that is text. And one thing I, uh, I want to show you here now in the matching it matches every occurrence. And um, and what we can do then is if we put parentheses around this then we will have what is called match groups. And match groups is something that we're going to use in a later script, but you can put parentheses around different parts of your regular expression to create groups. And you can see now again that if we look at the re match results, we match on text, text, and text. And we have, if we look at match groups here, we have three different matches. In match one, we have match group one, TE, match group two, XT. So we can build match groups like this. And I'm going to, sh to show you in the next demo how we can use them. The next thing I want to show you is um, how we can look for an IP address. So this is a little bit of a more complicated, uh, com complicated regular expression, and I just want to describe how to build it. So this is our IP address. So this is what we're going to look for, and I want to show you how to build this. So how does this start, or how would an IP address start? It would start with digits, right? So let's build digits, zero to nine and we'll have different matches for that, right? Uh, however, we know that it will begin with one, two, or three letters. So we can a little bit sloppy express that as one or more, right? So we do a plus here. And you can see in the match groups, it's a small change, but you can still see it. Now every digit is a match, but if we add a plus, then 12 is a match, and then 12 is a match, and so on and so forth. Next thing we want to, sh to have is a dot. The thing is that if we input a dot here, then that is going to match for everything because a uh, dot is a wildcard character that allows any single character to be true. So what we have to do is escape that and say that we mean a literal, literary dot. And how we do that is that we put a backslash in front of it. So if we do a backslash and the speci special character dot, then we mean a dot. Next we want letters again, right? So we make a new bracket and we go 0 to 9 and, and we go a plus because it's basically the same. So now we said 0 to 9 uh, one or more times, dot 0 to 9 one or more times and then we're going to have a dot so we go backslash dot because we need to have the dot literary and now we're just going to show, show you how to do this 0 to 9 in a little bit of a different way and we can do it with backslash small d um, which is basically any digit and then we can do a plus again and then we need another dot and then it's going to end with 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 some digits again and you can see now in the match result if I put parentheses around all of this you can see that we have one match and in the match group is our IP address and now it won't really matter if we do something else like if we do one dot one 69 it will still follow the pattern but what I did was that I looked at the IP address and step by step built a regular expression that matches the pattern of an IP address and now I can add more IP addresses if I like and I will have more matches and the nice thing is that it doesn't really matter where they are and um, so that's a short introduction on regular expressions and I also showed you how to use the regular expressions in a loop as a condition and that is the thing that if we do a regular expression like so and have have it in a condition whenever you can find the regular expression in the text the return will be true and therefore we can use it in in a loop or a selection as as a condition like so so that's it next time we're going to look a little bit more into regular expression hope this helps